So you want a graphics card with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, but don't want to spend over $400. And as you know, most 16 gigabyte GPUs are either overpriced or sitting in that awkward mid-range zone where value doesn't match performance. But in this video, I've covered some 16 gigabyte cards that are placed on edge of budget options that actually make sense. So let's get into it. So first one is the Intel Arc A770. This card launched at $349, but now sells for as low as $280 brand new. And honestly, that's a steal for a 16 gigabyte GPU that can comfortably handle 1080p high refresh rate gaming and even 1440p in a lot of modern games. It's roughly as fast as a 3060 in most titles and actually pulls ahead in some ray tracing benchmarks. Now sure, the Arc lineup still has some rough spots in older DX9 and DX10 games, but if you're gaming on modern APIs like DX12 or Vulkan, you're going to get really solid performance here. And for the price, easily the best bang for buck 16 gigabyte card out there right now. Now this last gen card from AMD may surprise you. That is still a really strong card. Check out the RX 7600 XT. Just to be clear, I'm only talking about the 16 gigabyte model, not the eight gigabyte. It launched at $329, but if you can find it for around $250, even used, that's a great deal. Performance wise, it's about 10 to 15% faster than the regular RX 7600. And while that's not a huge jump, the double VRAM does give it some extra headroom, especially in games that are getting heavier on memory. For straight 1080p gaming, it's a really safe bet if you can grab it below MSRP. Now, if you want something newer from AMD, the RX 9060 XT is the interesting one. It's based on the new RDNA 4 architecture, comes with 16 gigabytes VRAM and absolutely crushes the RX 7600 in performance around 40 to 50% faster at 1440p, according to AMD. Even at 1080p, it's a really strong card that can max out modern games and still have VRAM to spare. It launched at $399, but I've seen some listings dip to around $339 already. And at that price, it's probably the best value card overall in this category. You get future-proof memory, excellent performance, and solid efficiency too. And finally, the RTX 5060 Ti 16 gigabytes. This is NVIDIA's newest mid-range card, and yes, it's expensive, MSRP is $429, but I've seen a few sales drop it to $399. Performance-wise, it's about 20% faster than the RTX 4060 Ti, and with DLSS 4 and frame generation, you're getting smoother gameplay in supported titles. The ray tracing is also slightly better than AMD's cards at this level, which could matter depending on what games you play. But the real selling point is NVIDIA's ecosystem. If you want access to better encoding, streaming tools, and NVIDIA's AI tech, this card delivers. Just keep in mind, if you don't care about those extras, the RX 9060 XT offers similar raw performance at a lower price. If you've got another GPU in mind or found some deal, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching.